All right, here we go. Question number 12 from our college algebra, homework number three in my lab math. Again, the instructions say solve. Gives me no indication as to how to solve. It just says solve. And they give me this equation. So up here in my screen, I've got the equation written down. Let's talk about it for a second. We notice that within this equation, our uh, biggest exponent is 2. There's no bigger power than 2, so that makes this equation quadratic. And the first thing you need to do if you're going to solve a quadratic equation is you need to set it equal to 0. So we're going to take our 36w and we're going to bring it over. That's going to give me 4w squared. That's going to become minus 36w. And now there's nothing on the right-hand side, so we can say now that that's equal to 0. And now that it's equal to 0, we can choose a technique for solving. I choose factoring because factoring is the fastest and easiest. Here we have only two terms, and so we're going to ask ourselves, what do these two terms have in common that I can factor out? Well, they have a 4 and a W. So when you factor out, you're dividing. 4 divided by 4 leaves me a 1. W squared divided by W leaves me a W. 36 divided by 4 is 9. W divided by W, those are going to cancel, and the 9 has no W. And that is factored correctly. If you want to distribute the 4w back in to see if you get back where you started, you can. But now that this is factored, we're going to set each factor equal to 0. So 4w equal to 0, w minus 9 equal to 0, and then we're going to solve for w. Divide both sides by 4. W equal, well, that's 0. 0 divided by any non-zero number is 0. Moving the 9 makes it positive. And so those are our two solutions. Let's see if we got that right. 0 and 9. Man, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Or you can text me. And thanks for watching.